I came to Lesvos to listen and to learn. I wanted to see firsthand what the crossing was like for these refugees, to hear their stories and their hopes for the future. This is The Crossing. Uh, you can see that there's tons of people. There's a little tent for kids that's been set up for them to play. And uh, there's lots and lots of families, people waiting for their numbers to register. How do you keep your kids dry? How do you keep them safe? You have to keep an eye on them all the time because kids do disappear. There's some places that are actually dry because there was a prison there and it looks like a prison and women and children and vulnerable populations can go into that once you find your way there, but it's pretty desperate. Out on the outskirts of the prison are tents, if you're lucky, sometimes just sleeping on a, on a blanket and to keep warm there are fires burning and when there's no more things to burn there's this horrible smoke that comes from burning plastic. Lots of different languages, food carts where you can buy food or you have to wait online. Sometimes the food runs out and no lights. So there's a few main lights, but then in other areas it's completely dark. So we were lucky to have some of the solar puff things to give out. But when, when this is finished, then you have to put the sun on it. It's just a very overwhelming situation that is becoming more and more dire because more and more people are arriving and the, the system that they have set up isn't sufficient to take this many people this quickly.